Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're hitting two fascinating science stories, one on the pyramids and the other on supposedly ancient Antarctic ice that probably isn't as old as they think it is. Big four-day stretch at Observer Ranch starts today, and we're starting here with the last 24 hours on our star where things really couldn't be much quieter than this. No solar flaring, it dropped out hard despite the massive sunspot. No filament eruptions of relevance in Earth's direction. Space weather is very quiet right now, and we're eyeing that sunspot to see how she behaves today. Basically, the only newsworthy active region we've got right now, and magnetically, we can see why it's entered a calmer state the last 24 hours. Positive blue double umbra lead and red negative trailing behind, well split and not jumbled together. That makes flaring far less likely and we'll monitor that today in case it changes. Up first in the articles, this is so cool. Mega mystery at the Pyramids of Giza. At the smallest of the three where everyone looks at the entrance on the western side and then sees similarly polished blocks on the eastern side at the exact right location to match the west, but there's no opening, no door, no entryway on that side. They used several techniques to peer behind the wall and found air-filled void anomalies exactly where they thought they would be. There's a secret entrance to that pyramid that has been sealed up. They want to open it next. Folks, I saw this paper hit the sheet this week, and I wanted to cover it for one reason only, to review one of the best papers ever published. Now, see, in this one, they say they found half a million year old ice, 500,000 years old, in Antarctica using chlorine isotopes. The problem is that this is the worst way imaginable to date ice cores. If you recall, it was six years ago this month that the great Krypton dating event took place in Tibet at the Himalayan ice. This is one of the greatest papers ever. And where the chlorine isotope said it was half a million years or older, the Krypton data said the maximum age was only 17,000 years old with the potential for it to be much younger. Folks, just a tiny little window there into why their isotope dating systems are all messed up. When it comes to ice, avoid chlorine. When it comes to pretty much anything else, avoid carbon. Important to remember those ones. Folks, today astrophotography class begins at Observer Ranch. Then on Saturday, we begin Kings of Catastrophe with Dr. August Dunning and myself. We'll also be discussing a secret mystery at the pyramids, just a different one. Pole shift conferences and prepping days all year long. Check out the event calendar and book your trip to come see us at ObserverRanch.com. If you're old school, the number is there and you can call us as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.